Welcome to this segment of Ask Alexis. We're going to talk about a really touchy and really serious topic today. And I've wanted to get into this for a while. And I've been hearing a lot of women, especially black women, and I haven't talked to a lot of women of other races yet about this issue. But I'm sure they have this problem too, but I know personally about the dramatic, the abusive, and the devastating impact that this kind of shit has on black women. And I'm talking about dirty ass, low down, old ass black women that attack they little girls and attack their daughters and their nieces and attack other young women that's just in the damn neighborhood. These some rotten old ass bitches, they need to be damn stopped. And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that, we're gonna really deal with that deep because it's a lot of women that do not, black women, do not get along with their mothers. And they love their mothers. They live and die for their mothers. They go all out of their way trying to prove that they're good enough, they're smart enough, they're wise enough, they're strong enough. They go and get degrees just to, because their mama always says that you were going to be a dumb, stupid whore when you grew up. They go out trying to find a man with money because the mama always told her she was stupid and she wasn't going to never find a man that could amount to anything. Get the name. Yeah, get the name. You know, she, she being ran down in the ground because she got pregnant as a teenager. But you set her up to get pregnant as a damn teenager because your motherfucking ass didn't want her to begin with. And if you did want her, you acted like you didn't because from the time she was a little girl, you been telling her she wasn't nothing but a hot, fast-ass, little damn split tail. Now, see, I don't know if y'all from the South, if you know that phrase, split tail. You know, because we women, we got a split in between our legs. We don't have a penis. There's a slit that we got. And I have seen women that are in families, that are in a group, because we got a lot of gossiping and backbiting. Girl, this is going to be a damn series, because... We got so many black women that are full of poison. Don't like they damn self. They don't like a light-skinned bitch. They don't like a black bitch. They don't like a nappy-head bitch. They don't like a straight-head bitch. They don't like a wavy hair bitch. She thinks she damn cute. She trying to fuck my man. She live in this house. She drive that car. She went to this school. She doing this show. She writing this book. Let me see what I can do to tear her down. See, we got all this fucking defileness, all this toxic waste, and this poison that is in the womb of the black woman. And it's, it's, it's really time that we address these issues and we stop this shit. That if we can't stop other women from doing it, we got to stop doing this shit to each other and we got to stop doing this to these little girls because we got these old ass women with their motherfucking teeth done damn fell out and their fucking titties done fell to their damn navel or shriveled up they fucking ass pussy so goddamn woe out and runt it done fell to their damn ankles you know asshole done motherfucking dropped out the bottom because when they was young they done let everybody stick all kind of damn donkey kong dicks all up in them all kind of ways and fuck where well, they done fuck for nothing and suck for hubbing and fuck the preacher and got them three and four damn children and they husband think them children here and maybe one might be damn here they done did all that kind of damn shit and fuck out of both damn draw legs then they have a little girl and she's a hoe why because you's a motherfucking hoe so these little girls don't know no better. And there's a lot of women that give birth to little girls and get fucking upset and disappointed because they had a little girl. Because you, you really thought it was safer and it will be easier on your reputation if you had a little boy. Because little girls are hot, grown, and fast. And they give up pussy and they get pregnant and embarrass your family name. And the little girls a lot of times don't even do this kind of shit, camera girl. A lot of these girls ain't even like that. But I guess y'all feel about your own damn self. Well, the, the apple don't fall too far from the tree, so you know you's a hoe. So you think just because you gave birth to this little girl, she got to damn imitate you. And that's not always the case. And the reason why I'm doing this show is because it's a lot of women, a lot of black women, walk 
walking around here looking down on they self because they mamas done told them that they wasn't fucking shit all they damn life so they go out trying to prove something to her or they go out trying to compensate for their low self esteem by trying to meet friends and they let their girlfriends use them and they become doormats or they become bullies like their own mamas and do the shit to other people what their mamas did to them or they get in relationships with men trying to get some type of validation and self respect from these damn men and that's why many of us have got to realize what is really the root of the pain here because a lot of us are carrying our mother's trauma and pain and her poison and her venomous words and her girl it's in some women that actually beat their fucking daughter's ass and the little girl didn't even deserve it just because you who you think you are you know and and will find Girl, this is such a deep topic to me. This shit is so motherfucking sick to me. And it's just so heavy on my heart because I grew up being a victim of a lot of this shit. And I see women going through this shit every day. Young girls being brutalized and beat up by their own fucking mom. Girl, do you know it's some women that even fucking murder their own fucking daughters out of jealousy? and do everything they can to go out in public and spew all kinds of nasty words about their fucking daughter to sabotage their daughters because they can't deal with the fact that they feel like a motherfucking loser, a coward, and a failure. They feel like they ain't nothing. Girl, ain't no motherfucking woman in her right mind is going to try to destroy, dehumanize, humiliate, and degrade a womb gender, a female that come out of her womb unless she fucked up herself. You ain't gonna tell me you in love with yourself. I don't care how pretty you are, I don't care how fine you are, I don't care where you live at, I don't care how many degrees you got, I don't, many, I don't care how many nice cars you got and who you know. You are really low representation of a female if you can give birth to your daughter and humiliate her and put her down and tell her that she ain't shit and you treat her like she's a piece of trash on the street and you do everything you can to destroy her you woman are totally out of order and sick and defiled you are not walking in your divine principles of spiritual sexuality and vagina power because if you were and you were truly manifesting the principles of God, you would not defile and demean another image and likeness of God, which is another female that came out of your womb. Oh, you know, these women need to get their shit together. These women need to, these mothers need to wake the fuck up because they blind and they damn sleep and they putting these girls to sleep with the shit they do. I'll be back with more of Ask Alexis.